What's going on people? This is Theo here and this is A Real Talk. So, I want to talk to you guys about the cost of living crisis. Um, so, Liz Trust has finally emerged after a few days away. Don't know what she was doing. But she gave a series of interviews today to local media. Don't know why. When you got a crisis like this, you want to go on to the national media. You want to be able to talk to them and you want to be able to send a message that we're on it, we're working hard on this and everything else. And then last week you had Quasi Carton who uh, delivered the mini budget. And I listened to what he had to say and everything else. And it just didn't look like it was helpful. It didn't look helpful. Now, there's going to be another um, budget or budget one um, in the end of October. It's not long away. It's not long away from it. Uh, sorry, it's not long from now. So I don't know what's going to happen now. And by the way, I'm not an economist, right? I don't have a degree in economics or anything else like that. I don't have experience in in ballroom meetings and all that sort of, sort of thing, Um but I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to talk to you purely because it's my opinion and purely because of what I feel. <sighs> I've never experienced anything like this. This is, this is, I feel like this is worse than the financial crash of 2008. People then was just worried about what was going to happen. And then the recession came. Um, but this is just far more worse than that. And this is going to take our children, our children's children, maybe in the children's children's children, to rid the mess that they created. I can't see things getting any better. I would love to give Listros a chance to see what she can do. But she's only been in power for the, for the latter part of at least a couple of weeks now. And she's got to get the she's got to hit the ground running, but so far it just doesn't look good. This is a gamble. This is a huge, huge, huge gamble. And right now, with what the markets are saying, what what um, everybody else is saying, because I've been listening and reading and everything else, it doesn't look good. It really doesn't. How can you say that things will get better? How can you insist that things will get better? You can't. You can't. Do you know, when the cost of living crisis came about, when it first came about, my mother took a look at me and said, Theo, you're not going to be able to get onto the property ladder. I said, yeah, I know. And, I, and, 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 I, and I'm generally fearing that it's going to take me a lot longer than, 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 than I previously thought to do it. And I'm not alone. There's there's people out there in my age just trying to do their very, very best. But unfortunately, um, we're in this situation because they don't make it easy. They don't make it um they don't make it easy. I'm not saying I want stuff on a plate and I can have it. I wanna work for things, but at the same time we do need help. We all need help. So I don't know how things are going to get any better. Even the mortgage, even the mortgages, the, the, the lenders for mortgages, they pulled their products off the shelves. People can't, they can't access mortgage and everything else. So I don't know what's going to happen. The IMF have to step in. Um, you know, that, that, that's, <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> it is really, really bad. Like I, like I said, I've been watching and reading stuff over the last few days. And all I know is that... I, I would say we need a miracle, but that we need hope right now. Because you got people worrying about the bills. I mean, even when I heard about the bills going up, up and up. Fuel costs going up. Even me as a motorist... Like, I hate the idea of having to pay so much X amount of money just to get fuel. I remember um, a few couple of months ago when the fuel was going so high, I wasn't even getting a lot, a lot for my petrol. 
it was just it was just bad you know remember when <laughs> remember when um earlier this year when we was all chasing around getting fuel that's even more worse so i don't know what's going to happen <laughs> i don't know what's going to happen <sighs> look it looks bleak i want to be upbeat naturally i'm a positive person but like over the last few days or so it's just got me down and i don't know where things are going to they're going to going to lead um i don't know how people will 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 fare over the coming months not even martin lewis can come up with uh, answers like i've been seeing what he has to say and you know he's generally broken because he wants to help and he doesn't have the tools to 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 help and it's hard so yeah look um enough about me i don't know what all you guys are are, are doing i hope you guys will be able to get through this um as best as you can and i hope that we can all survive this but right now it just feels a bit tough it feels a bit tough because these people it's the it, it's it's the it's the straw that broke the camel's back for it basically people have had enough and you know list trust has only been in power for a, while, a short while but like I don't know. It doesn't look good. It, it, it it's like it's like they've it's like they're doing certain things, but they're not doing the right thing. But I don't know. Uh, we'll see. So if you like this video, please like it, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think about this financial situation. Sorry for me rambling and and you know I, I know it doesn't sound inco I know it sounds incoherent, but. This is generally my feeling and my feeling is, look, I love this country and I care about what goes on. It's just that right now it just doesn't look great with what's happening with 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 the cost of living crisis. And um, I generally do hope that it gets better for everybody, but we'll have to wait and see. So take care, people. Peace out.